they are not seriously hurt. He's now ripped away. Branson raided a distress message. His colleague, Per Lindstrom, had jumped into the sea from about 70 feet. Branson was to follow him minutes later. RAF Sea King helicopters were quickly on the scene, as was HMS Argonaut. Here, Per Lindstrom, wrapped in blankets, is helped to an RAF helicopter bound for a Scottish hospital after being rescued by boat off the Ulster coast. Branson himself, who'd been lifted by lifeboat from the water, is seen here landing at Croft House Hospital at Kilmarnock. Besieged by newsmen, he was shaken but smiling and uninjured after a rescue operation which was completed inside two hours. We approached the, the person in the water and he, we saw he was in some distress. At that point, we, we lifted him and got him in the boat and got a couple of coats coat around him because he was very cold. Uh, at first, we thought it was a Navy exercise, but then uh, all he could say was Branson, Branson, so we knew it was out of the balloon. They came down through the cloud and they tried to jettison, jettison weight, I understand, and the explosive cutters didn't work. And then one of the, the other passengers, I didn't know his name, he's just called Pierre as far as I'm concerned, jumped out from about 70 feet. And this caused the balloon to rise with Mr. Branson still in it. Uh, then rose up through the clouds and disappeared. Branson then made one last attempt at bringing the balloon down before jumping out himself. Within the past hour, Mr. Branson's girlfriend, uh, girlfriend Joan and his two-year-old baby arrived at the Kilmarnock Hospital for a reunion. It was a face that said it's great to be here. In fact, it's just great to be anywhere. Anyone got a cup of tea? Well, of course they had. But no time for a little sip before he had it all to tell. We came in and we touched down perfectly and paired through the explosive bolts to release the um, balloon from the capsule. And instead of releasing it, the balloon shot up into the air and, and something went wrong with the bolts. And uh, Pear and myself tried to jump up onto the top of the capsule and throw ourselves over. Um, Pear threw himself, we were being dragged, it was dragging along the water at quite a dramatic rate. Um, and we'd, you know, we heard of, we'd been warned that it could act like a submarine. Um, and anyway, Pear threw himself off at about 70 foot in the air. Um, and uh, with it, with all he had on was his parachute, he didn't have a life raft on. Um, and I found myself um, hurtling on back, back and upwards, um, knowing that I had the, I, I, that I had an impossible situation as far as detaching um, the balloon from the capsule, and uh, that if we, if I did land anywhere, that it, that we, we could be dragged um, for for a long way. That the balloon and myself came down quite fast, and uh, as it hit the water, I uh, threw myself over the back, um, and. Uh, the balloon headed off in the opposite direction um, and uh, some um, heli friendly helicopter people came and picked me up quite quickly and I'm not sure whether we got the record or not we did we did sort of touch down briefly in Ireland um, and um, but anyway it's not it's not that important to us anymore but it was but we you know we had a um, you know we had a we had a great crossing anyway Friday bright and optimistic at